everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to our How to Repair a Power Recliner series. Um, on this video, I'm gonna show you how we go about installing the, um, uninstalling and installing the recliner bags onto um, the recliner itself. So if you're not familiar with the um, recliner anatomy, basically you've got your reclining mechanism underneath um, your recliner. And if you're sort of unfamiliar with what those look like, feel free to check out our Diagnosing a Power Recliner video. We've got some good videos of where it just shows the mechanism, so it'll give you a good idea of what it looks like, how it operates. Um, but from that mechanism that goes underneath uh, your recliner and is responsible for opening and closing, up from there stems these two, these two wings, these ears. And these are metal, these are part of it. Um, from there, on your recliner back, you have what is called um, KD brackets and I'll post links in the video description if you need access to these parts um, But they're very easy to get on and off. They just uh, A lot of the times either have a Phillips screw or in this case, it's a 7 16th inch bolt So um, and then they just screw into your frame on the opposite side of the frame There's what they call it an insert nut and when you screw that bolt into the insert nut it creates pressure um, onto those uh, surface, onto this wood surface here, or OSB surface in this case. So when I'm installing this back, I get it set up just like this, and I try to let the back do a lot of the, the work for me, and I'll just slowly guide it down until this KD bracket starts to align with the mechanism here. And I'll do the same thing on the left side over here, and that's about it as far as installing it. You'll start just gradually sliding it into place, and just like that, it slides into place. Now, if it gives you any trouble, usually you'll hear it snap into place. If you don't, um, use a rubber mallet and you can just slightly tap the top of this frame and a lot of the times you'll hear it click into place. Um, if you're not sure, you can look underneath here and a lot of the times you'll see um, that bracket pop into place and you'll see it laying flat. So I'm gonna tip this on its front side and I'll show you how we go about uninstalling these as well. So like I said, if it's not going in all the way, you can just grab a little rubber mallet, tap it into place. Same thing on the other side. And a lot of times that'll do it. There we go. All right, so now that you've seen how we install one, I'm gonna show you how we go about uninstalling one or disassembling it um, and like I said that really comes in handy if you need to work on the recliner or if you're moving locations and you need to um, break it apart to make it easier to maneuver so um, without further ado I'm going to show you how I go about getting those things off okay so this is the KD bracket that I was talking about and this is it installed onto the mechanism you see that there so basically all it is is I all you the only tool you really need for this you can still use that rubber mallet um, if you have trouble getting it off of there but I use a, a good heavy-duty flathead screwdriver as you see here and it's nice and long makes it easier to get in there um, but I get that flathead screwdriver in there and you just slightly twist it and it'll remove that tab so you see that tab on the bottom side you can use your finger if it's not too sharp, but I like to use a screwdriver and get it in there. But that tab is basically locking into place. Right in here, that tab is locking into place into a little notch in the frame. And that's what holds it on there. So what we're doing is we're just slightly lifting up on that. And all you have to do from there is lift up on the back. And I do one side at a time, obviously, and release it. And that will do it. Like I said, if it's giving you trouble, sometimes they can be a little bit stiff. Um, I'll pry it, and at the same time I'm prying it, I use a rubber mallet to slightly tap it upwards. Let me see if I can show you how to do that. All right, so I've got my screwdriver in place. I slightly pry it, and like I said, at the same time, I'm going to, to just slightly tap it upwards, and that'll release that side. And I'll come over here, and I'll do the same thing on this side. Like I said, I'm gonna take the screwdriver and pry up, and I can use either, rub, my, either, either use my rubber mallet or you can just lift up and release it. 
And from there, this just slides off and you can just set it on the ground and you're good to go. So um, that's it. All right, everybody, thanks for watching today. Um, that the, concludes the second part in our video series on how to repair a power recliner. And that was how to assemble and disassemble the recliner back um, from, your, from your recliner. And like I said, that just helps you maneuver it a little bit easier if you're moving locations, especially on sofas. That can take off an easy 50, sometimes 100 pounds if they've got motors and massage units in there. That'll make it a lot easier for you um, to maneuver the piece. Um, but if y'all have any questions, don't forget to comment in the section below. I always respond to all comments. Um, if you want to see anything in future videos, please let us know. Other than that, thanks for watching. And please don't forget to share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you can receive uh, future updates to our future videos. And uh, we'd uh, love to see y'all in the future. Thanks.